this video it will present the concepts of what you need to get Sedona Dashboard and Sedona Analytics up and operating on your system. We'll start by a brief defi definition. What is it? Well, Sedona Dashboard provides a snapshot view of your company in a convenient web page format. We can read that off the screen. But basically what that means is data is mined directly, instantaneously, always current from your database organized into meaningful web pages and displayed to you in a way to simplify pulling data from your system in its most fundamental form. The dashboard is made up of pre-made panels. They're made by us and there will be uh, more coming as the product develops more and you will choose which of these panels that you want to use in your customizable layout. Basically dashboard panels um, will which we'll see in the second video, uh, will be arranged on your system. And then if you click on them, a lot of them will take you to uh, specific uh, analytic reports where you can drill down into the data and the like. OK, so Zone Analytics allows users to create their own reports, including graphs, charts. Um, the charts and graphs can have uh, filters and criteria and formulas all created by the user, stored by the user and they can be uh, shared amongst other users based on departments. So for instance, you can create a report for your salespeople, give it to the sales department, only salespeople can see it. Um, these people can also take reports, create reports on their own, or take reports that have been shared with them, copy it, make modifications, and use it. But the original form of the report always belongs to the owner. So what is needed in order for you to have this great tool on your system. Sedona Dashboard and Sedona Analytics run in the Microsoft IIS web server. Okay, Basically the IIS web server from Microsoft comes with every server that uh, OS that Microsoft puts out and about 90 percent of their uh, regular client machines. So you've already got it but it has to be configured and set up. And it needs to be configured and set up so that several things work out here. And we're going to talk about those right now. The first thing that we're going to look at is obviously seeing how this is taking your data and displaying your data in web pages, it has to be able to see your SQL Server. So they have to at some point be a connection, um, a typically TCP IP connection between your web server that you're creating for the dashboard and the analytics and your SQL server which has your data in it. Now these talk through multiple layers of security so to, for someone to come back through the web page into your SQL server is nigh on to impossible. Nothing's impossible but this is close. Okay so when you put all this together what are the options that you have to decide on before we actually make this thing work? Well, the first thing you have to decide is internet or intranet. Internet would mean that it's connected to the entire world out there and that uh, you can go out to some remote place, any place you can find a web browser, go to the login page, log in with your user code and your password, and get on and see your data. An intranet means that it is basically still accessed through a web browser but it's a web browser and a website that's only available within your network. It's not exposed to the world in general. And a lot of this depends upon how you're going to use it. If this is going to be a tool that your salespeople or your techs or somebody might use to pull data because there's a lot of good data in there, not just accounting data, but also operational data, something they're going to use in the field, then you're probably going to want this to be internet. But if it's something where you're just sharing information within your company, between your employees and departments, then you might want to consider having it as an intranet only. This is not a, de a decision that's set in stone. It's not a big thing to change from intranet to intranet or intranet to internet. But for the initial rollout, you should have some consider consideration of how you're going to use this and which way you want to start with. Now, we mentioned this before we talk about it a little bit more. If, when you connect to this via a browser, or when you connect to this at all, there is two different ways that you can connect to this. One is through a login page. 
and it has a web address, whether it's internet or internet. It has a web address that you go to. It will want you to put in your username and password. This is the same username and password that you would use to log into Sedona Office. All right. You may also access it directly from the Sedona Office client because you've already logged in there, in which case there is a new entry in the tree structure on the left-hand side of the client that says Sedona Dashboard. And when you click upon that, it will take you directly to bypassing the login page using the credentials of however you logged into Sedona Office. Okay. Security always being an important question. One of the things that, uh, that we want to know here is how is the security being handled? You know, what things can my employees see or not see? How can I can control what it is and how secure is it? Okay, the availability of a dashboard. A dashboard is available for um, anybody that has that link in their tree, but you can turn that off and on. So you can completely disable the Sedona dashboard for any uh, employee user group. Just it just doesn't show up in their tree. Okay, you can also within the setup of a customer's user groups in that, the same as you can say, you can see customer management, or you can see inventory, or you can see AP. These same groups are used in the um, Sedona dashboard in, the, in order for them to know which of the pre-made reports they can see. So for instance, if you do not give a person the general ledger or GL permissions in Sedona office, then they will not be able to see panels or reports in Sedona dashboard that are GL based. All of the panels have been assigned to, and all the reports have been assigned to one of the two letter groupings that we already exist within Sedona office, which is CM, AP, GL, etc. And you can control that what they see. Now, analytics is slightly different. Analytics is slightly different because you build your own. If you have access to a query builder, then you have access to analytics. Because in analytics, you can build your own queries, build your own reports, build your own graphs, etc. So it's kind of a uh, uh, supercharged version of the query builder. So we gave it the same permissions. Now, <clears throat> once you have this and you open up a page, your question is, why can't somebody just get a copy of that page header and go and run it on their own, own machine and get all kinds of stuff they're not supposed to have? Well, we've taken that into consideration. And basically what happens here is when you go to log into the dashboard, however you do it, whether you do it through the web page or through the Sedona Office client, you are issued a one-time key that is only good for one login. That key, uh, as soon as you open up the web page, that key is then deleted and is no good anymore. That sets what's known as a session variable, and it only works as long as you have that browser open. As soon as you close that browser, everything you did is locked back down again. So we've given this some consideration. Also, there are people that say, well, you know, that doesn't sound, you know, if they have AR, then they have all of AR kind of thing. We realize that, that we will need to be more itemized with security in the future. Uh, but at this point, this is the security model we've used, as it's the easiest for the users to get this up and running. All of your security is already set up because it's using the security that you already have in Sedona Office. All of this information that I've just presented and the technical specifics of what is needed for your uh, set up your web server is available in a document from us. And it will. this is a document that you can give to your IT staff or your third-party IT group, and they will be able to set up your web server to be exactly what you need to run Sedona Dashboard or Sedona Analytics.